Hi there we go, it's uh, Josh Tillier here. Um, I thought it might be a good idea if I uh, if I did a video um, sort of link so that you could you could see exactly what I'm I'm looking for from the music. Um, basically, what I'm used to sort of working with is um, a fairly high quality uh, audio sequence. Um, now I just thrown together quickly, just using sort of Logic sounds. Uh, a kind of um, not an example, but the sort of thing I'm I'm, I'm sort of looking to hear. Um, so there's this first sequence. This is a a build up. So what I've essentially done here is quite simply taken uh, four different um, atmospheric sounds, altered the um, yeah inserts and um, you know all the uh, plugins and stuff. Just fiddle around with uh, a few settings, so do, you know, not not doing anything major. Um, most of it is done through channel EQ, which I'll just show you. You know, you can uh, heighten up the certain waveforms, and then you know, get this sort of desired sound. Uh, add reverb and echoes and whatever to get some sort of funky things going on. So I'm just going to play through up to sort of here. So you can hear the sort of thing I'm looking for um, for the build-up. Um, now I will say, although I said I don't really want a synthetic sound, what I mean by that is, you know, it's a clearly MIDI sound. Although I'm not against at all using like electronic sounds in the mix. So I'll, I'll give you a listen, and then uh, you can see what I mean. Um, so yeah, what um, I'll talk you through that a little bit before I move on. What we've got there essentially, the actual build-up. Sorry about my computer fans; they're going a bit mental at the moment. Um, what we've got there at the, essentially is the build-up is um, just a load of strings uh, piling on top of each other to make this sort of discordal sound, which sort of climaxes towards this. Zoop. Uh, at the end, that's sort of when the gun fires or doesn't fire, whatever. And then I just use this sort of effect. Um, I don't know, I'll just show you what this one is. Just a sort of climax. Um, you need to just like that. So you've got that, and you just you know you layer the sounds on. So it's um, it's kind of a score, but at the same time, uh, it's sort of more sound design as well. So yeah that sort of thing but you know if you can do it a lot better than me that would be brilliant um okay and again it's um i've played around with uh is it this one in particular hold on a second yeah if i've just i've basically um soloed out a, a particular frequency i want to boost in uh, the eq here um and I'll just, it's a very, as you can see, it's a very low frequency, which is a sort of, oh, sorry, you can't hear that. Um, but it's a very low frequency uh, reoccurring boom, which um, creates a sort of suspense. And again, I'm just increasing the volume right the way up to the climax there. Um, so, yeah, that sort of thing as well. I want a lot of very deep. Um, uh, you know, when you watch it in the cinema, it's going to really, um, really come out and vibrate the seats and whatever, <laughs> you know. Um, <clears throat> essentially, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for for the build-up. Um, throughout the rest of the piece, um, I'm not too fussed what goes on, really. I'm going to pop on a, a wild track and perhaps a sort of drone tone to sort of link it all together. So I'll be working in post sound design. But, you know, you can put little motifs over certain things, um, you know, just clearly describe what you're 
what you're doing as well when you do it. But you know, this sort of thing, I was thinking, where would this get? Well, this could fit in a few different places, but maybe either the beginning at the very opening when he's uh, the hood is lifted. Uh, it's again, it's a very. This is essentially I've just boosted the um, low frequency on a, a, a floor tone on this particular kit here, and just coupled it with some uh, some drops. Um, now the piano part I wasn't sure about to be honest, it was a, a chord design maybe for the end um, the end of the piece when everyone's dead, you know, it's a bit of a somber thing. But I don't think, don't worry about that too much. Um, okay, but yeah, you know, that sort of thing with the sort of deep drums and the, I don't know, some sort of um, dripping or some sort of effect with instruments that sort of creates that um, fairly dark atmosphere. That would be really nice. Um, and then I did another sort of build up, but this is just um, this is more again. This is for uh, this is a, a smaller build up than the first one, I think. But again, it's just me playing around with all these sort of effects on here, the filters and the uh, EQ. Um, I haven't actually put on. Yeah, I haven't actually put on um, any reverb on these yet. So, yeah, just have a listen to this. So yeah, that's essentially what um, another that's another example of a build up, but it could also be used that sort of feel. I think you could continue that. You don't have to sort of build it up. You could just continue the final point and then continue build it up throughout the whole thing, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's a sort of sound quality and feel I'm going for. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you can do um, with uh, within that sort of scope. Um, now I don't want you to recreate what I just did because that just took me, I don't know, 10-20 minutes, whatever. Let's throw that together. So you know, um, have a go at something like that. Um, but yeah, if this video is more helpful than doing it with an email, which I think it probably would be, um, then let me know and I'll, I'll keep on doing the, these. Um, otherwise, thanks for your continued work. Um, I Sorry I haven't uh, replied to your email uh, sooner. I've been a little bit busy filming recently. Um, but yeah, that's essentially all there is to this one. So yeah, get back when you can.